My name is Barbara Vujanovic and I'm senior curator at Ivan Meštević Museums in Croatia. And this is the continuation of uh, Spotline Loan, which is a British Museum uh, project, and also continuation of the major Rodin exhibition at the British Museum, which happened last year. So I have chosen the Thinker because it's one of the most iconic sculptures of Auguste Rodin, perhaps along with the kiss. On the other hand, people ignore its origins and the Thinker came out of the rib of Belvedere Torso. That is, uh, he was inspired by the fragmentary sculpture, which was one of the main interests of Auguste Rodin. And Auguste Rodin introduced the fragmentary sculpture into modern art. Auguste Rodin was very much interested in, uh, in antique art and he uh, went frequently to museum collections. One of them was naturally the British Museum where he came first in 1881, uh, just at the period when he started working on the, uh, the gates of hell from which the thinker originated. And the British Museum was inspiration for many artists such as uh, Epstein but also Ivan Meštrović who were inspired by Parthenon figures and by the works of uh, Phidias. So people would probably remember the monumental version of the, this sculpture, but this is actually the original size, which can be seen on the gates of hell. On the other hand, I think when people see this size, I think they're struck by its monumentality. So even if it's small in the dimensions, still with the modeling and with its uh, composition, it has something monumental, something striking. Along with the thinker which came from the Barrel collection, we also have three pieces from the British Museum collection. Uh, we have the silver medal of the Royal Academy which depicts uh, the Parthenon, but also the Belvedere torso which was crucial for Michelangelo and Rodin, and the fragment of the statue of Venus uh, which is placed in a vase. And also we have a lithograph by French uh, artist, painter and graphic artist uh, Carrière, who was Rodin's uh, friend, uh, which depicts uh, Rodin in the moment of creation. So what's interesting for me is that the subject of fragments, which is the main topic of this exhibition, is actually included in the way this exhibition is incorporated within the collection of the museum. So we have various exhibitions and various collections which are linked to each other. So we have Epstein's of other artists, Daniel Silver. So there's even this fragmentary approach in the conceiving of this project as it is.